So in today's video, we're going to go over how to save your client secrets and your Gmail token to your Google Cloud Console. Now, just like API keys, which are meant to be secure, so are these tokens. You need to make sure that you download them and store them securely. And you can do this through Google Cloud. So from your Google Cloud homepage or cloud.google.com, we're going to go ahead and search for secret manager like you see up here. So you're going to click this. Now, if this is the first time you're using Secret Manager, you are gonna have to enable. So go ahead and hit enable here. And then once you enable, your menu is gonna look a little bit like this. As you can see here, I've already saved my client secret as well as my API token. And the way you get these, we did it in the previous video where, so if you haven't seen it, go back and watch that one. I'm gonna show you how you can retrieve your client secret file. And I also provide you with this easy to use. And I also provide you with this easy to use Google Colab notebook for you to verify that your client secret key is active. And once you verify and authenticate it, that's when you get your Gmail token. So once you're able to retrieve these files, you're gonna go ahead and download them. And back in your secret manager menu, you're gonna go ahead and click create secret. So here you just have to fill it out. You can call it whatever you want. Just make sure it's easy to remember because you are gonna use it later on in the project. You can just call it client secret. It's gonna ask you what file to upload. So you're gonna go ahead and click browse. And from here, you're gonna first upload the client secret. Once you upload it, it's gonna populate the information that is in it. It's already formatted properly, so you don't need to do anything else to it. And when you're done, you're just gonna go ahead and scroll down here and click create secret. I already created mine, but again, you're gonna do this twice because you're gonna to need to do it for your client secret document as well as for your Gmail token. As we move forward in setting up the rest of your serverless project, I'm going to show you how you can call in these client secret values for the project that we're going to be building. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.